Welcome to our Docker tutorial. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many developers encounter when working with containers. Our viewer is trying to connect to a Postgres SQL container from another container, but they're running into some roadblocks. Let's dive into their question and see how we can help them troubleshoot this connection problem. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To connect to a PostgreSQL container from another container in Docker, we need to ensure that the containers can communicate with each other. Let's start by reviewing your Docker Compose file. In your script, you're using localhost 5432 as the host for the PostgreSQL connection. However, within Docker, each service can be accessed by its service name. So instead of localhost, use database. Now, let's address the error message you're encountering. The error indicates that the server cannot resolve the host name. This is likely due to the incorrect host configuration. After making these changes, run Docker Compose up again. This should allow your server container to successfully connect to the PostgreSQL database container. If you still encounter issues, Ensure that both containers are running and that there are no network conflicts. You can also check the logs for more detailed error messages. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To connect to a PostgreSQL container from another Docker container, avoid using depends on. Instead, use links to establish the connection. In your Docker Compose file, Set the environment variable database host to the name of your database service. Make sure to include a command to wait for PostgreSQL to be ready before starting your application. For more detailed information, check the Docker documentation on links. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To connect to a PostgreSQL container from another container using Docker, you can use a Docker Compose file. This example sets up a PostgreSQL service and a Keycloak service. The PostgreSQL service uses the official PostgreSQL image with environment variables for the database name, user, and password. It also maps the default port 5432. The Keycloak service connects to PostgreSQL by specifying the address, database, user, and password in its environment variables. It also maps ports for access. Lastly, the Keycloak service uses the Depends On option to ensure that PostgreSQL starts before it.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To connect to a PostgreSQL container from another Docker container, follow these steps. First, ensure you have Docker and Docker Compose installed on your Mac. Create a directory structure with necessary files like package.json, server.js, and await for Postgres script. In your terminal, navigate to the SRC directory and run npm install to set up your Node.js application. Then fix the permissions for the .pgpass file and make the wait for Postgres script executable. Finally, from the root directory, run docker compose up. This command pulls the PostgreSQL image, builds your Node.js app container, and waits for PostgreSQL to be ready before starting your app. Make sure your docker compose.yml file correctly references the PostgreSQL service and includes the wait for Postgres script as a volume. This ensures your Node.js app waits for the database to be ready. Remember to handle your PG pass file securely and avoid committing it to version control. This setup is for development purposes only. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To connect to a PostgreSQL container from another container, ensure you're using the correct host name. Avoid using localhost 5432 or 192.168.64.2 theft 432. Instead, set up a .pg pass file with your database credentials. By omitting the port and just using localhost, the connection should work successfully. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.